What is up, Earth Sphere citizens and rebel colonists? I am just a simple new type. And in this video, we are returning to After Colony 195 and Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Last time, Merlina met with Dorothy Catalonia, the granddaughter of Duke Dermale. Hiro and Catra returned to Earth. Meanwhile, Trace was stripped of all power while mobile doll production came to an all time high. In this episode, one of Duke Dermale's men go rogue with Wing Zero. Also, Catra and Hiro make it to the Sank Kingdom. So let's get into this. Oz units are on standby when mobile suits come in attacking. It is Hiro. We flash back before the battle to Hiro and Katra arguing about fighting. It seems that this is an internal conflict within Oz and Katra doesn't want to get involved. But Hiro wants Oz to know that he is still alive. Show off. Hiro goes out to fight with Katra. He decides to head to a nearby city. Within the city, Oz members are harassing some of the citizens. They are former Oz members that once defended this area, but now have become occupiers. The mayor informs Oz that they are pacifists, but they help the city to do their dirty work and know that this is all bullshit. Katra helps the citizens who was abused by the Trace faction when Ares comes in and begin their attack on the city. The fight between Oz and the Trace faction begins. When Hiro said he wanted to help fight, he wasn't joking. Look, he's joining in on the briefings and everything. I think the charm of this show is starting to wear off and get a little too ridiculous. Hiro is out fighting in Aaliyah when he helps save some citizens. There have been too many casualties and Hiro deems his mission a failure and tells everyone to retreat. Berlina is giving a class about pacifism. Hmm. Dorothy is a part of this group. She subtly thinks that Relina is somewhat naive on her notion about pacifism. Dorothy believes that fighting satisfies a need in human nature. She believes that fighting is what it means to be human. Relina doesn't believe in her views. She says that she will promote pacifism even at the expense of her own life. Dorothy looks on as Relina- I, I can't. I can't with these eyebrows. They're so distracting, man. A series of Virgo mobile dolls enter into the city. Katra realizes that the people are fed up with all of this and decides to join the Sank Kingdom. Katra notes that the citizens are more relaxed than the soldiers now that they decided to head to the Sank Kingdom. Raylina's butler, Pagan, once again tries to tell Raylina to be careful about Dorothy. She says that he and Noin know of the location of Hiro Yui. She is excited that he has returned to the Earth's sphere. Hiro continues fighting when the new Virgos come in and begin their attack. The old Leos struggle against these new mobile dolls. Hiro's right arm is taken out. His mobile suit is getting destroyed. Catra is starting to realize that the Romefeller Foundation's desire to keep the Saint Kingdom down is because they actually have a chance to find peace in this world. He steals an Ares mobile suit and heads to the Saint Kingdom himself. Hiro says some insufferable hipster stuff as he begins dying once again. But that is when Catra comes in to help him. He tells Hiro that they should go to the Saint Kingdom. That is when Noin comes in and drops off a package to the two. It is the Beam Gatlin gun from Wing Gundam. Catra picks up the gun and begins blasting the Virgos. Catra and Hiro escape with Noin. Back at the Saint Kingdom, Hiro lands as Relina awaits his arrival. Catra wants to stay in the Saint Kingdom, but Hiro just wants to grab his Gundam and leave as soon as possible. He lets Relina know of this as well. She ignores him and tells them about Trell Barton. She wants him to at least stay until they find Trella. Hiro and Catra stay in disguise as male students. When he introduces himself to the public, it reminds him of Dr. J giving his codename, Hiro Yui. Dorothy challenges Hiro to a fencing duel. During the duel, she mentions that there are only two people with that name, and one is a murderer. Hiro allows her to win, but she can see that he isn't trying. She taunts him, but Hiro goes in for the attack and cracks her fencing helmet. He walks away and says there must be another person with that name. Dorothy in her eyebrows knows he is hiding his identity and welcomes him to the same kingdom. Oh my god, talk to people in front of their faces. Stop being dramatic when they turn their backs. Noin informs Relina of the Trace faction making their way to the Saint Kingdom. The Romefeller Foundation is also trying to attack the Saint Kingdom as well. Relina decides to allow the Trace faction to stay as refugees. The new refugees are gravely injured, but they realize that they led the Romefeller Foundation directly to the Saint Kingdom. Noin contacts the refugees and informs them of the Romefeller Foundation heading towards the nation for an attack. They don't want to stay and cause any trouble. They decide to terminate communication and lead them out of the area. Noin realizes that this small group of Trace soldiers are about to sacrifice their lives. Their lives have to be sacrificed. Forgive us. Now that's acting. Hiro finds Wing Gundam 
which happens to be located next to Noin's mobile suit. Relina contacts the Romefeller Foundation's squad and tells them that they must not attack the new refugees, but they don't believe her and end communication. They also decide to target the city center. Yeah, that will teach those pacifists. Knowing tells Katra about the Taurus mobile suits that are underground. They are there without Relina knowing about them, even though they are the Saint Kingdom white color. Hiro has already taken out his wing Gundam. Katra suggests that they take out the Taurus to help save the city. Hiro just walks up to the Trace faction and says, Hey guys, follow me. The commander goes with it because he thinks that the kid is a Gundam pilot. People just go with things in this series. It's kind of wild. There's probably a lot of missing children in the After Colony universe. Dorothy gets Relina out of the city center. While doing so, she talks about how battles and murder turn her on. The white Tauruses are fighting with Romefeller when a shuttle comes towards their location. Romefeller shoots it down, but out of the explosion is... A Gundam! That's what I was going to say. It's a Gundam. You ruined it. I really hope someone shoots this guy down. Thanks, Hiro. The shuttle heads down as Relina and Dorothy watch it fall into the water. Virgo stop Dorothy's car, but Hiro and the Tauruses come to the rescue. Noin accepts responsibility for lying about having mobile suits in the Saint Kingdom. Hiro suggests that they don't have enough and must grow bigger. He suggests that they build defenses to buy them some time needed to spread their pacifism. He says that he paid her back and he takes his leave. Hiro says that Gundams are meant for battle and have no place here in the same kingdom. Rolina finally understands that totally blind pacifism is impossible. A group of Leos are escorting a shuttle of Virgo mobile dolls. Suddenly out of the darkness comes Duo and Death Scythe Hell. He tears through the Leos and takes the shuttle supplies. Operation Nova is starting to run into problems. On the moon, Tuberoff is informed of the missing Virgo transport vessels. This isn't the first one to go missing. He informs him of Lieutenant Trant, who has gone out on recon. Lieutenant Trant has taken out Wing Zero. Remember, before leaving for Earth, Hito fell into the hands of Tuberoff, and his men took over and tested the Zero system. Trant is overwhelmed by its power against the mobile dolls. He tears through them, but he seems to be struggling with the Zero system. He struggles to move his arms and begins getting attacked. He is surrounded, and the Virgos destroy Wing Zero. However, that was a vision. Trant wonders if the Gundam pilots also felt this way while piloting the Gundam. He gets a message from Tuberoff and ignores it. Tuberoff believes that Trant may be going AWOL, so he contacts the barge to send a team to find him. Meanwhile, Duo heads to the colony where Hilda is. He first gets supplies from a man in the colony, but the man doesn't take Duo's payment. Hilda comes over to help out. She is anxious to help out in any way. While talking, they notice a mobile suit. It's a Gundam. Sorry, Gundam. It is Trant. He demands that Duo comes with him. Trant points the twin buster rifle at them. He says he can destroy a colony with that weapon, but Trant doesn't seem to care what happens to the colony. He is serious. Duo gets in wing zero. If he tries to escape, he will get the mobile dolls to destroy the colony. For now, he has to test the Gundam by fighting against the mobile dolls. While fighting, he sees visions of Death Scythe Hell. He begins firing on the mobile dolls and he attacks the colony. He takes out the mobile dolls in the colony and wonders what he just did. But it isn't real. Within the cockpit, one can truly do anything. Tuberoff's men suddenly come in to take out Trant. He kicks Duo out of the Gundam and goes to fight the Leos. Hilda comes in to pick up Duo. He tries to warn Trant, but he is consumed by the Zero system. On the shuttle is Duo's Death Scythe Hell. He launches and fights with Trant. Trant believes he could control the system, but the two go in for an attack. It is too much for Trant, and he is killed in action. Duo believes that no one should use that system, and if someone were able to control it, they would be superior to all of humanity. And that will do it for this episode. If you can't tell, this is where I stop finding the Shakespearean nature of this show cute and start to get a little annoyed by the characters. But that is the love-hate relationship that is Gundam Wing, or at least that is what I'm trying to convince myself. We didn't get to see Epion in this episode, but next time we will certainly see this new mobile suit. We will see the tall geese sacrifice itself as well in battle. But that will do it for now, new types. Remember, if you see a Gundam heading your way, it's probably best not to shout it's a Gundam. Peace.